Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Dominate Fishing. In today's video, we're going to talk about my five best crappie lures for fishing in the summer. The summer is a great time to catch crappies. The crappies are really biting, assuming you can find them. And there's a ton of different locations you can find them. You can find them deep in deep cover. We're talking deep trees, you know, rock bars, deep cribs. You can find them up shallow in the weeds. You can find them suspended over deep water. You can find them in all different situations. And so today we're gonna to talk about five of my best lure for catching these summer crappies. So when it, when it comes to selecting summer crappie lures, we're gonna, there's a lot of you know, different presentations you can fish, but you know one presentation that's gonna work really well is fishing plastics. And in the summer, I like to fish big plastics. Just the other day I was out and I, I was crappie fishing. We were on a big crappie spot and what was happening was I was fishing with my dad and another guy. We were catching some real big crappies but we were also getting a lot of little ones mixed in which you know in this spot a lot of times is not it, it doesn't happen. It's not characteristic of this spot but we were getting just a mixed bag of big crappies and small crappies. I was using one of my favorite crappie lures, which is a tube jig. What I did was I went with a real big chunk of crappie plastic that we're going to talk about in just one second. And that really weeded out a lot of the small crappies. You, you still, you know, even those little ones, they can have a real big appetite. But if you go with a real big crappie lure, that's what we're going to be talking about here coming right up. A lot of times you can weed out some of those smaller fish and uh, get more of the big ones to bite. Because in the summer, it's just a great time to catch crappie. They're aggressive and they're going to hit those big baits. So let's get right in to uh, some of my favorite summer crappie lures. All right, so we're going to start out with one of my go-to lures. Uh, I've been talking about this lure for quite a while, but it's, it's just one of my all-time favorite lures now. And that is the Bobby Garland Slab Slayer. I really like the Slab Slayer. So... And, and they have a whole bunch of different colors. They have a Moglo series. These ones glow in the dark, looks like that. Here, here's uh, the Moglo Slab Slayer in the Green Lantern. Here's my, here it is right here. This is, this is not a Moglo. This is just one of their standard colors. It's the Bone Chartreuse. This right here, these last two, these are the two inch Slab Slayers. In the summertime, I like to up it to the three inch slab slayers. Here's the three inch right here in the red horse minnow. Like I was saying, the crappie like to hit those big baits. So here's the red. Here we got another one right here in the black hot pink. Here's one of my favorite colors in the three inch. This is the electric chicken. I like to go with the three inch when I can. If the three inch is too big and they're not hitting it, maybe it's a cold front day, then I go back down to that two inch. The two inch works fine, but like we were saying earlier, going to that big chunk, that big three inch, a lot of times you can weed out some of those smaller um, fish. So we've got all kinds of colors here. Here's um, the storm warning. And this is how I'm gonna like, I like to hook this. This is a 16th ounce jig. This is a sickle hook jig. This is the Crappie Pro 16th ounce overbite sickle hook jig. And I really like this. It's got a nice wide hook gap there for setting those hooks on the big slabs. And this is that three inch slab slayer. You can see how big of an offering that is. Here's the same thing, but here's the electric chicken, one of my favorite colors. I have that one actually rigged on my rod right now. And this again is on a, this is just on a standard jig. This is also a 16th ounce, this is white. So I like to go with a little bit bigger jig when I'm fishing this big chunk of plastic. However, you can go down to a 32nd ounce if you want to. I was using the 32nd ounce just the other day, catching them just fine bait's going to fall a little slower. You have a much smaller hook, but give give that crappie some time to get the whole bait in its mouth. Set that hook even with the 32nd ounce. You can still get that hook set. When I'm fishing the, the three inch, I like to go with the 16th ounce jig. If I'm using the, the two inch, you can go a 16th ounce 
or a 30 second ounce depending on where you're fishing, how deep you're fishing, and how aggressive the fish are. All right, sticking with big baits, another bait I really like to use is the Mr. Crappie Scissor Shad. Look at the size of that bait. It's got the action tail, so when you're just, when you're twitching this bait, when you're jigging it in place, you got the tail going. You can work this bait under a bobber. You can vertical jig it. Those are, pro those are my best pr presentations, work it under a bobber. That way you can, you know, you can keep it above whatever structure you're fishing vertical jig it if you're fishing deep trees if you're fishing deep cribs get right over the top of them vertical jig this bad boy you can also pitch this under docks or into trees because when you're pitching uh, you know you can kind of you're not vertical but you're on a short line so you can fish it kind of the same way this is you're not going to kind of power fish a shoreline with this bait but you know you can pitch it into into wood into cover you can pitch it at a crib pitch it under a dock the the scissor shad works really well for that again here it is in the pack it's strike king uh, mr. crappie looks just like that this is another great bait um, this is the hot chicken okay so another bait that I really like I catch a ton of fish on it's also one of my favorites it's by Bobby Garland and it's the baby shad here's what it looks like just like that this is the baby shad in the Cajun Cricket. Let me show you how I'm gonna rig this Cajun Cricket. You can fish the baby shad on either a 16th ounce or a 32nd ounce jig. So here's just a Lindy jig. This is a 16th ounce, so this is gonna be on the big end. You're just gonna feed it right through the middle and then you're just gonna pop it right out the back, slide it all the way up, and there we go. We got our baby shad rigged and ready to go. So that way when you jig this bad boy, she's ready to, to trigger that bite. All right guys, so another big crappie lure that I really like are these crappie magnets. Look just like this. Here it is, the crappie magnet. It's another really big, you know, profile bait. And now because it's another big bait, I'm gonna try to fish it on a 16th ounce jig. So here's the bait, you can see, I mean, that's just a big profile bait, attract the attention of those big slabs, make those big hungry slabs come over and hit it. You got a nice sensitive action tail, minnow profile. What I'm gonna do, 16th ounce jig, I'm just gonna hook that bait right in the center there, slider all the way back, pop it up through the top, and bam. I'm gonna present this bait just like this. And this is another bait you can fish this under a bobber. You could pitch this or skip it under docks. You could vertical jig it. That This is just another great crappie lure for catching those big summer slabs. All right, I'm gonna give you another crappie lure that I like. This one, I actually fished this lure. This is another Bobby Garland lure. It looks just like this. Here it is from the back so you can actually see it. This is the, slo this is the stroller and this color is the gold member. This bait looks just like this. Now this bait works kind of like a twister tail and you can fish it like a twister tail. You, you could, you can fish this under a bobber, you could pitch it under a dock, you could do any of that and work it back, but this one you could actually cast and retrieve through a weed bed. So if you were working ashore, you wanted to just, you know, you're, you've got a big, long weed bed, you gotta find where the fish are in those weeds. That's when you can bring out a bait like this, cast it out and bring it back. Let me show you what this bait looks like in the water. All right, you can see how that big action tail just really gets twirling as I, look at, look at that thing go, as I'm just moving this around. So you, like here on this rod, I've got a bobber. So if I was fishing over weeds, I could keep, I could keep this moving, but use that bobber to uh, keep me above the weeds. And then you can fish this bait fast. And the faster that you retrieve this bait, the more that tail goes. So you can see, you know, if I'm working this through the weeds, I can keep it above the weeds, 
bring it right through and those big aggressive crappies can come up and smash that bait that's a great search bait but you can you can fish it slow too and uh, really get those summer crappies to bite. Now I'm gonna throw in another bait. This is a six bait. The reason I, you know, just throwing this in as a bonus, this bait works really well all summer too. And if like there's a cold front or something and some of those bigger baits aren't biting, or even if it isn't, if it's the weather's just, you know, great, it's probably my most tried and true, longest used bait. That's the tube jig. So I'm just gonna throw that in because I just want everyone to know the tube jigs still work awesome like they always did. Here's pink and white. You can see that pack is almost empty because it's one of my favorite colors. But tube jigs work really good all the time. They get tons of bites. So hope this video helped you guys. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video.